Jess, and I have a friend with me today. I'm really excited to introduce Nube. Nube, we don't need to give out her last name. There is internet privacy. But Nube is a woman I recently met, and I never got to see you with your dreads. But she recently cut off her dreads, and I thought it was really, it's a different kind of great story on the big chop. We're doing a video, I'll be on in a minute. Um, it's a different kind of big chop that she did, and so I thought it'd be fun to check in with her once a month and see how her grow out is going. So tell us a little bit about, well, like I was asking you before, how, how long you had your dreads and what made you decide to do it in the first place and what made you decide to chop them off? Okay. <laughs> Well, um, it's actually like my fourth set of dreads. Okay. I think it's either my third or fourth set of dreads. And you do get to that place, I guess just generally you get to that place where you need to change. That's kind of the, the first thing that happens. But with this set of dreads, um, and maybe it's because I'm getting older, I just felt like the, I could feel them getting heavy and... I mean, they were very beautiful. I, 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 I never I loved them myself. Yeah. I did. I'd look at them in the mirror. And, well, and I, yeah. yeah. You, so you love your locks, whatever they are. And But there was this... Um, so I had them for six years. Okay. I had them for six years. And, you know, they're wool. They're like... it's It becomes like full. So they get a little itchy, scratchy on my bare skin. And, and so the things that I was loving about them were kind of being overshadowed by some things that weren't working. Just being very heavy getting them out of my face, a little itchy, scratchy. Um, but I was attached to them. I was really attached to them I because they, they were. They were beautiful and long and I could Stunning. Know, shake yeah. my hair and, <laughs> and all of that. And so it was, you know, it was, it was a tough thing to make that first cut. Whereas before, change was easy. Like, no problem. I'm ready to cut my dreads. I'm just going to chop them off. No problem. I'll just go. You know, it's been easy in the past. This time is a little tougher. Huh. Interesting. Because yeah. you'd think, having been through it before, it might be... Yeah, I don't know. I know. Well, I wondered if it was because, yeah, I'm just getting a little older, maybe, and so, you know, that, that kind of, oh, fly by night, just do whatever I want. Right. It, 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 I think it's maybe a little easier to get attached. There's more to consequences it. in your mind. I it? With, think with, so. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. But, so then, um, it, so it took me a few days. It took me a few days to really, I mean, I've been thinking about it for some weeks, and I think it's ready, I think I'm ready to cut them off. And then, I was like, wow, I really, I'm feeling really ready, but I'm having a really hard time making this first cut. Yeah. But, wow, once I made that first cut, and, and I have to say, I know this is going to sound like this is just a shameless plug, but because I, you know, started talking, uh, you know, started using your product, and, and I was like, wow, we didn't yeah. ask her to do that. I know. I couldn't really use, I just like, well, yeah, they might be good for my dreads, but how can I find out if they, how the product really works if I don't really have my curly locks? And right. so it was kind of this interesting transition where I wanted to start using some products because with dreads. You don't really, at least for me, I didn't, wasn't using products. Right. I mean, I would just wake up, my dreads were my dreads, I did what I did. I mean, maybe I'd play with them a little bit to keep the dread going, but... Not a whole I, lot. Yeah. Mm -mm, I didn't use a whole lot of stuff. And so, there was also this place of wanting to get back to that, oh, I want to use some products and print my hair. Right. And I was like, oh, I can't really do that. Right. Okay? Yeah. Um, getting my hair on top of my head, the dreads, so heavy. Yeah. and So, um... So I think that was some of it, too, is that I wanted to play. and Because you have the right to remain curly. That was the thing. <laughs> yes, yes. Awesome. So that part was great. Wow. So once I made the first cut, this was like, it was whoosh, a complete release. And then I just kept cutting. And there's like 40 dreads. Wow. And I just... Uh, how long did it take? Not that long, actually. Because you just got yeah, I was just like, I was on a roll. Yeah, I was definitely on a roll. The times before... Did you, what did you do with your hair in between having dreads separate, different times in your life? Did you keep it natural and curly? Did you relax it? Did you straighten it with heat? Or what, what did you do in between before? Always short and sometimes really, really short. And that was the other thing about this time because I've got a growing son who's 12. Yeah. And so. And he loves his curls. He, he loves my curls. And his too though, right? And he loves his. Yeah, he loves awesome. his. 
And he, again, he's loving using the product. That's so, so cute. He really cries about it. But he didn't want my hair to be as short as his, is what I gathered. Oh. He, like, it, you know, it's the identity. Thing. Right, so, right, right. Anyway, I don't, probably shouldn't right. say too much in case he watches this. He video. better watch yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I could tell. It's like, yeah. oh, he needs to be separate. He needs to really have his own identity. And I thought, well, I do too, actually. So <laughs> I'm going to just kind of follow his lead. And so oh. in the past, I have gone really short. And I would just buzz it, basically. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So I had, you know, hair like this short. And so you wouldn't really see my curls. Right. And then, yeah. And then there was one time when I did relax it, just to, um, I would keep, it would be still curly. Right. And I wouldn't straighten it out. Like it a texturizer. Kind of, it, was te- it would yeah. texturize it. Yeah. It would do. And so, but this time, I was like, you Hello. know, I just want my curls. I want to know what my curls are like. And I'm loving. Yeah, well, look how cute they are. God, I can't wait to see. <laughs> and you said it's already started to grow. When did you do it? Two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, it'll grow pretty fast when it's healthy. And... Yeah. Well, awesome. Yeah. I'm excited. And we're going to keep up with Nube and her hair growth. And not just the growth of your hair, but, like, what it brings up for you. And, I mean, hair is a big deal. And we can all say that it's not, but we all know it is, or we wouldn't be watching this video. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't have this company if I hadn't been completely obsessed. And, you know, what I always tell people is hair is a renewable resource. That's like, true, we yeah. freak out about these cuts, and it comes back. You know, like, a couple of years ago, I had told the customers, everybody, that I would grow my hair out for locks of love. And prior to Jessica Curl, I had really short hair a lot of my life, and... I looked like Haley Mills. It was all very cute, and, <laughs> you know. But I was, I had, I was tired of that, and I grew it out. It got down to like here, but and I had said I'm gonna cut it for locks of love, and I had to do it. It's a good thing I said that publicly, or I probably would have chickened out because I went from here to here, you know, within three minutes, and I was in my 30s, and it was like. Oh no! <laughs> what have I done? I hated it. Like I really hated it. And everybody's like, "Oh, it's so cute." And you know what? I'm thirty something. I don't want to be cute anymore. Like I had grown so attached to this identity of my long red curly hair, and it now was this short. And it, and at first the cut was not that great. It was really round. I had to actually go back in the next day and be like, yeah, "I'm not gonna." Go home. <laughs> Come on, dude. I look. Like a chia pet again, and it was like <laughs> it brought up so many issues that yeah, I thought yeah, I had yeah. resolved. Because here I am helping people, you know, you have the right to remain curly and all of that. And you all of a sudden, all of these issues come flooding back exactly, exactly. when you don't expect it to. Yeah. And you know, I've never relaxed my hair, I used to do all kinds of stuff to try to straighten it out. But it's interesting, so I'm interested in that aspect too of what comes up and what you know because I thought I would handle it just fine when I cut my hair and I was like <laughs> well it did come back because I definitely have some some things to say about that about the whole identity thing. yeah so, okay yeah, so next time folks <laughs> we'll to that story because awesome. yeah that's cool it's been ongoing for the you know in these two weeks yeah I bet yeah what that's been feeling like Oh, cool. Okay, yeah. well, well, let's check in with, let's not let a whole month go by. Okay. Um, I'm going to Atlanta on Wednesday, but when I get back, well, let's do another one okay. shorter, and we can, and then maybe space them out as we as we go. And if okay. you guys have any questions for Nube about her hair journey, her grow out process, anything, put them in the comments of this video, and, and it'll be fun. I'm excited. Okay. So okay. thank you for sharing yeah. your thank you so much, story too. with us, because like, we know, you know. It's not insignificant, so thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> and you guys, have a good day. I'll see some of you in Atlanta. I'll be making videos in Atlanta, so stay tuned. <laughs>